Now my inventory is 78 of 80. However, I don't like the whole thing of dropping stuff, especially bacon. And g'day everybody, Morax here and welcome back to Fortnite. Today I'm doing a special request video for Andre S, who requested that I do an inventory management video. So here we are, as you can see in the top left hand corner, my backpack is at 79 of 80 capacity. Uh, so I probably need to make a bit of room. Now there's a few ways you can do this, it's not exactly the most difficult thing in the world. Number one, and the least efficient way of doing things, I believe, is dropping stuff. So as you can see this pile of bacon, if I just click on drop, max it all out and drop it. Now my inventory is 78 of 80. However, I don't like the whole thing of dropping stuff, especially bacon. So there's better ways to do things. Now, there's all these resources, and as you can see, just to the left of that, you've got these things you can craft. Now, the top one here, this barrel of blast powder, takes uh, ore, and it takes coal. So as we can see down here, I've got two piles of ore, and one pile of coal. So now if I craft some of these, you can see obviously it's going down. So you can craft a ton of that to get rid of some slots of these things. And then the duct take, tape, if I can talk, takes this stuff, which is adhesive resin, and it takes, what's the other thing? The other thing is this stuff, fibrous herbs. So again, if I craft a ton of these, I can get rid of some stacks if I craft enough of them. So that's number two way. It's probably not the most efficient, but it can give you one or two slots in the long run. Now, the next thing you can craft is traps. So if I've got traps like these, these spikes, they don't take nuts and bolts. So they're a little bit more efficient than creating some other traps like these that take nuts and bolts. So as you can see here, I've already got two stacks. These stack to 20. So if I, if we have a look, I'm at uh, 79 of 80. So if I, if I craft one of these, it's going to go into one of these stacks. So I'll show you. Craft. Right. So now I'm still at 79 of 80, and I have a new trap. So you can go and craft up to 20 of some, some of these certain traps into one slot without gaining an inventory item. Now, what that does, for a, for a start, it slots traps. And for another, it gets rid of some of these resources. So if you were to build 100, 100 of these traps, for example, you're only going to use five slots up, and it's going to get rid of a ton of resources that you use for crafting. So, stacking traps is a great idea, and then it just has, and then also you just have them so you can use them in in your builds. So, win-win. It's probably one of my favorite ways of getting rid of resources, uh, and yes, it's it's the one I use the most often. Now, number three is recycling stuff. So, as you can see, I've got a bunch of junk here that I'm not really going to use. So, especially this common stuff, I'm just going to recycle it. All of this stuff, uh, that one I'll recycle. Of course you can use this stuff as well in your base builds, and that's, you know, another very, very good way of doing things, but for now I need space, so I'm going to get rid of some of this low-level stuff that I already have high-level traps of. Uh, and that one, I'll keep this gas trap, because I've got two of them stacked there in the one slot, and they're somewhat useful. Uh, I don't really use launchers, so I'll get rid of that launcher as well. And confirm recycle. So let's see, after that, I've now got 71 of 80, so that just freed up 8 slots. And then we can do the same thing, of course, for things like weapons. So here I've got... Uh, with weapons and things that you find, obviously you can use them, but I just find the weapons that I craft I like better than the ones I find. So I usually just stick to the ones I craft and I just recycle the rest. Um, I'll do that later though. Uh, epic weapons, sometimes I'll keep. This scythe here is at low... Um, low durability, so I'm just going to recycle it off. Uh, there we go. Okay, now I'm sitting at 70 of 80. Alright. So that's, that's for now, that's a few options there. So one is crafting these two things. Number two is crafting traps, stacks of traps. Uh, number three, of course, is recycling. And then number four, I'll show you from the main menu. This just takes a little bit longer to do. This is not an immediate fix, but this is something that you'll gain as you go through the game. Now, if you're brand new to the game, I, I believe you start with 55 infantry slots. It was so long ago, it was a week and a half ago. I can't remember that far back, but I think it's 55. Now, in your research tier one, you'll see you've got uh, here, this little slot here that has the little three squares on them. That is an infantry backpack size skill or ability, whatever you want to call it, research tech 
which gives you plus five backpack size. So there's two of those in this first skill tree, one there and one there. So it's well worth getting those to give you an extra 10 inventory spaces, and there's a lot more later on. Okay, if we have a look in skill tree two here, you can see there's a bunch more. So we've got one down to the left here. Uh, we've got a few later on in that same tree. There's one there. Uh, oh, not all in the same tree. There's one above it in that tree there. So you can expand your inventory in skill tree two and probably, oh, I'll grab these while I'm here. Probably more in three and four. I just haven't unlocked it all looked through there, but I'm sure, yeah, look, there's one there. So there's a bunch later on that you can unlock. Research tier two also has a few. So there's one here. A few? One. I lied. There's one. But you can expand your backpack size decently throughout the game. So there's not too much worry there, but that does take time. So that's pretty much all of the ways that I've found to do it efficiently. Uh, tra crafting traps is probably my favorite way of doing it. And also recycling junk traps and junk weapons that you find. Uh, but yeah, if there's other ways that you guys have for infantry management, let me know. But that's the most basic way that I have of doing things. So this is probably the shortest video I've ever made. But I hope it was somewhat useful and hope you got something out of it. Um, obviously designed for complete noobs to the game. So for you more advanced peeps, sorry to waste your time. But stick around for more videos coming up soon. Thanks guys, please like and subscribe and I will see you later. Catch ya.